Welcome to another episode of Not For The Weak Minded. So following on from yesterday's videos, this is the TR-3B. Anti-gravity, black triangle, spacecraft. This is from a patent, on which we're going to show you next. There we go, 2004. Could this be what we're seeing? Particularly with that image I showed you yesterday, yes, uh, the video I showed you yesterday with the moon, and how it was part of a triangle shaped craft. So, here are some patents, and it tells you. All the information you like. I will, of course, leave all of these links in the description. So if you choose to go and look yourself, it's there for you. Docs show Navy got UFO patent granted by warning of similar Chinese tech advances. TR3B. Other types of craft. You see, this has been this type of tech has been kept secret for us from the public because it can be used against us. And at the same time, it can save us. But they want to control that narrative as well. To make money. Navy's advanced aerospace tech boss claims key UFO patent is operable. August 2nd, 2019. The TR-3B anti gravity spacecrafts now, this is on military.com so let's just watch the video Hit it. disc shaped craft two triangle shaped craft on top of one on top of the other military training don't exist though do they The next question is, how long have they been around? And if this is something that is workable, can it be scaled up? And a lot of people don't think big enough. Do you get my drift? That these things are real and they are very likely to create a bigger one a mother ship right or use this technology for other things which we're gonna get to so it doesn't exist officially it uses highly pressured mercury accelerated by nuclear energy to produce a plasma that creates a field of anti-gravity around the ship conventionally Conventional thrusters located at the tips of the craft allow it to perform all manner of rapid high speed maneuvers along all free axis. Interestingly, the plasma generated also reduces radar signature significantly, so it might it'll, so it'll be almost invisible on radar and remain undetected. This literally means that it can go 
to any country it likes without being detected by air traffic control or defences. So the video I showed you yesterday, and if you haven't seen it, please go to my, my content and look up the moon video. Watch the sun simulator video too. Because all of this stuff is in low Earth orbit. TR3B Astra Lockheed Martin. And this website goes into a great deal of detail about the different propulsions. And if you research the wall, you know that um, the Nazis were working on it and that they went to America as well, right? So this stuff's been around a very long time and, and when you start looking at all the um, so-called natural disasters of the, of the past, particularly in the, uh, on our timeline, the late, um, 1800s where these catastrophic events take completely devastated these major cities across the earth and it seemed to be direct energy weapons that did it so these craft have been around these craft are new these are ours but the ufos are still questionably alien right some of them. But I'm proposing that we, through reverse engineering, are now trying to be the gods and we are now fighting the gods, right? In low earth orbit. And this is in French, so. But you see what I mean with the lights? That's just the CGI makeup image, same as that. So, my opinion. I believe they've built one of these at least five times bigger than this, than what we're seeing in, in the sky. And it has the same capabilities. So I'll leave it there. I'm just showing you that, that, that things have been a lot, a lot, a lot over the decades. And if you don't know about like UFO research groups look into MUFON, look into, um, what's his name? McKin no, not McKinnon. About cops. Um, it'll come to me. Anyway. The database where uh, an ex-copper who saw a, a UFO experience um, that then reported it got fired and then decided to do his own UFO group going around uh, taking police reports of UFO sightings. Proofos, that's it, Proofos. screen for you now in that time lapse I showed you in the main one isn't that very similar except for on the front of the, that one it has some type of hollow projection technology a lot with the light to create the moon, right? There's so many mysteries. So these things are real. 100%. Showed you the patent. Come on, stop it. Move on. What are they then? Bizarre huge silent triangle UFO sightings keep happening now in the UK. And I will pause this the music and we'll watch this two minute video.
the last 30 years or so, the triangle shape has become a topic of much discussion. Often reported as flying low and running silent with several lights on the bottom. Sightings of these objects often comes in waves, and they are reported as being able to go from a crawl to a high speed departure in a matter of seconds. Many feel that the triangle UFO may be a top secret government craft, still in the experimental stage and more than likely designed with military implications. Some researchers feel that the next step in the stealth series of craft, capable of flying low and making their exits without being detected by enemy radar. This type of craft would be indispensable for enemy surveillance, especially with weapon capabilities. Although the triangle craft seems to be a dark mysterious entity, according to researcher and author Clyde Lewis, triangle sightings in the UK are almost an everyday occurrence. He states in his article, there have been approximately 4,000 reports of triangles since 1990 in the UK alone. There have also been waves of triangle sightings in... You see, you see this alien face here? Eye, eye, nose, mouth. See it? Head going back. Eye, eye, nose, mouth. Do you see that? Belgium, France, Holland and Germany. On March the 30th, 1993, Multiple witnesses across South West and West England saw a large black triangle at low speeds. Analysis of the sighting by Nick Pope concluded that the object moved in a northeasterly course from Cornwall to Shropshire over a period of approximately six hours. The Kenosha UFO wave began in December 2016. The events of the 17th of February were documented by multiple groups of witnesses. All of the reports consist of multiple dark triangular objects in the sky with blinking white and red lights. The craft was also seen on the 19th of January 2017, barely hovering above the ground. The object was described as dark on the bottom with lights and silvery on top. So what does that tell us? It tells us that Britain has a deep connection with the triangle-shaped craft as more sightings have increased over the years. Of course, I will link to Arsenal, which Barry San Germain says isn't true. Now, yeah. let's take the Kurzawa first. Conspiracy theorists claims video shows black triangle UFO feeding on lightning, but viewers suggest it's dirt on the camera lens. You decide. Okay. There's the picture. It's 20 seconds long. There you go, that quick one. <laughs> There's the image of it. There's another one. Okay. So I think they're real, don't you? Painted. Designed. People have come out and said they have worked on these things. Robert Lazar, Bob Lazar, one of them. Certainly not alien then, these things are they? See it, trying to see craft. What's it doing? Oh. 
And I think they can definitely go a lot quicker. So, obviously, and that last clip I should be said that, you know, it's like from Como to wherever and it took six hours, right? Unbelievable, go away. Breaking news, Real Madrid win La Liga. Tip in Barcelona to title for only second time in eight years. That's great news. There you go. That's gonna play in a minute, I know it. Tell you what, just keep moving. UFO sighting, black triangle over London, you cloak king device. We were shocked. I'm not even going to play it. There are hundreds of, ex of examples of these sightings across the earth. Now it relates to Nibiru, and Nibiru relates to holographic technologies because Nibiru is all based on cosmological, the cosmological principles of what we've been told, right? The Big Bang Theory, evolution, and the cosmological principles, right? They're all wrong. Research into anti-gravity goes back to like 70 years and what did I say it goes back a lot further for sure I do believe this technology this knowledge was used for good purposes in, in one point in history to create a world of abundance and prosperity peace right I'm sure but we don't live in peaceful times do we we live in a corrupt time of evil sin I mean the amount of transgender stuff should just wake you up really alone the, the chemtrails alone should make you think differently I mean, there's just so much. 9-11. The truth is, the military has been researching anti-gravity for nearly 70 years. And there's two different articles, but they go into... This one goes into more detail than the last one, which is why I've put it in there. So, there's two articles going on. A diff bit different information. It's not the same thing. So, moving on. Bowen admitted testing anti-gravity 12 years ago. Mr. Cook is a British aerospace researcher and writer and a regular contributor to the British Journal on All Matters of Defence Defence and Military Technology, Jane's Weekly Defence. Never heard of it till now. Jane's has been around since technology began to play an important role an important and indeed the crucial role in military affairs with the advent of the all big gun dreadnought battleship at the beginning of the last century and has become much reading for anyone interested in the latest publicly known technologies and their impact in tactical and strategic policy formation and I was telling saying about that earlier about the Nazis the Glocka the Wunderwaffen so yeah Nazis Fourth Reich. Bowen developed an anti gravity propulsion called GRASP. March 3rd, 2014. It's 
it a thing? Gravity research for advanced space propulsion. That's what grasp means. Can you grasp that? Ain't no conspiracy when I've showed you pa patents and you can see the things flying around in the skies for decades. BAE's anti-gravity research braves X-Files ridicule. And this has to do with Project Green Glow. What what's, what colour do they call these things going across the sky? It gives them a green glow. And they've called it Project Green Glow. Hmm. Coincidence. It's just too many, right? If you start looking. The cameo appearance in TV series. It's a gravity shielding experiment in the Finland-based Russian scientist. Blonde in a realm of fantasy, right. Project Green Glow. When did it start? 2000s? Similar time to when they went into Iraq? Did they use direct energy weapons in Iraq? And Afghanistan. And are still continually using it today for an agenda. Project Green, Green Glow. And the battle with gravity, 23rd of March, 2016. So the people that are publishing this, they pretend they're not in the know, you know? But the people in the know are the ones that write these articles in the end. <laughs> so here's another one. Electrokinetics as a pro as a propellantless propulsion source. Space Propulsion Energy Science International Forum 2012. PDF. You can download it, you can read it if you like. Gives you schematics. Not real though. The problem is is that the people want to use this technology against humanity rather than actually use it to save us. But they're going to pretend to save us with this technology. Because they're the ones causing all our problems, right? Geoengineering, poison in the food, microwave frequency, silent war weapons, propaganda on the television, never been told the truth about anything to do with this reality. All part of understanding why. And that's because they don't want to keep you in the dark. Well, there's a hammer with his first name, but Bolan is a researcher. Richard Bolan. And this is a transcript. I'm going to basically get down to the end where it says first is to keep ourselves informed about dangerous and evil uses of anti-gravity and quantum technology second is to contact our political representatives to oppose policies and weapons systems developed development that is orientated towards space warfare we've already got trump space force right people aren't getting it Third is to encourage the release of this technology into the civilian sector where it can revolutionize transportation, energy, energy generation, large construction projects and other peaceful uses. Do you know the first in revolution, so to speak, was water? They don't talk about the power of water and, so, and how it can, it, it, if you engineer it right, can create sounds that can create energy because all the pyramids are got chambers of water coming down into it like resonance fourth the existence of this human technology is to two-edged sword for the cabal not only is it the existence of anti gravity technology starting to get out to the public but also the very existence of a massive worldwide organization conducting ufo cover-up and confiscation of star visitor technology as the public becomes aware that the cabal have unfairly monopolized this technology for 40 plus years 
all this technology that they've kept secret is going into projects like Elon Musk is doing, yeah? George Soros and Bill Gates. Um, you get it, they're like the, the forefront of a corporation which is controlled by the military, drip fed like IBM. So, you know, I can't change that. That's just the way it is. It's the time we live in. The war machine is raging. For what, exactly? So outside the box, space and terrestrial transportation and energy technologies for the 21st century. Again, you can read this. From the University of New Hampshire. This paper reviews the development of anti gravity research in the US and notes how research activity seemed to disappear by the mid 1950s and then addresses recently reported scientific findings and witness testimony that show us that this research and technology is alive and well and very advanced. The revelations of finding in, in this area will alter dramatically our, tw our 20th century view of physics and technology and must be considered in planning for both energy transportation needs in the 21st century. So if you, get, you get this technology and put into the hands of the right people and it would revolutionize how we live and it, is, and it will be a bad thing for those who control us because it will be unstoppable right but we need to work together humanity we need to see the truth and then start using that I know it's hard because th there's so much evil and corruption in this world and it, you have to look at that stuff to bring out let's say the light within you right it, you must feel things in this world and and use that energy because I'm angry Oh, I'm very angry these people I oh, want really I want to do you know can't, can't wait to see them six feet on the these tranny pedos alien demonic spirits and back in the box where they bloody belong because the only thing that's left when that Pandora's box is open is hope the flying car of the future looks the flying cars of the past go away and it's looking into vertical takeoff vehicles of the past prototypes like flying cars really well, this article goes into what we need to do to have these flying cars in our future. Listen to what the sub, the, it's called the Singularity Hub, the Internet of Things, 5G, 6G, complete in control of with technologies of all things. While everything is permeated in a fog of radiation. No thanks. If you want flying cars, you're gonna go to hell for it. In fact, you'll lose your soul through transfer. I've already showed you in the other videos that they've already got the tech to transfer souls and they're already doing it in the celebrity clones. Don't be deceived, man. Do not take the mark. Do not just think before you act upon what you see on the television what they tell you because it's going to be a lie for an agenda that is being played out today i.e. the COVID-19 operation which is a global operation to bring in a new world economy vaccinate 7 million people even though that the, the population is a hoax itself the numbers because they never tell us the truth about anything do they no the flying car future is closer than you think. 
August 24th, 2018. Cool, right? What about this? <laughs> uh, but you got to get out your head, right? It's not a globe. Not a globe. And the star gates, obviously something different. They do exist, these gates. But they're not what we've been shown on the television for sure. Well, maybe they are. Maybe they're connected to water. And you can travel through water. Into different, what people would call dimensions. But it's say called the spiritual realms. Perhaps. Instead. Scientists building, i.e. hell. Right? They want to bring hell on earth. And currently it does feel like that. But it's nothing compared to what they've created because everything relates to creation of course um, and what they want to bring down upon humanity which is itself as I'm trying to show you that they, they want to hive mind us it's the one one world whore of Babylon rising from the ashes of the satanic civilization which has created this mess today over the last 300 odd years Empires last average of 300 years too. Mm -hmm. Scientists building space arc to save humanity. <laughs> no, they're doing it to save themselves. Because they, the elites, do not want their soul judged by God. They think they can get away with the mass genocide and, and absolutely everything I'm saying. Yeah, to control humanity, to then wipe it out, to then kill them as well, to turn them off, whatever. To then, you know, to, to depopulate the earth. Um, while they're in their bunkers and in space. Trying to colonise Mars, which doesn't exist. But this does, and this will be in low Earth orbit. Remember I said at the start that that triangle craft in my opinion has been designed much bigger like at least five times well these things man how big do you think these things are going to be huge so you can read whatever excuse you want to do but you've got the numbers in there 13 designers blah 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 the 13 royal families but so it's for the 13 royal bloodlines that believe they've got they have every right to rule over us. They don't. Because they think they're divine. Right. They're not. It's sickening. So while they're floating in space... Anyone, uh, uh, how many of you have seen the hundred? You know what I mean? The TV series. The Ark, it's called that and that. There's quite a few programs where there's been an Ark that's in space that's been there to save humanity. Are they trying to tell us something about Noah's Ark? The real Noah's Ark. Not some boat, but it was perhaps a space laboratory? Or e. something in lower of orbit? Because in that time of Noah, they believed in lies that we do we do today because it came from there in the first place. It's exactly the same as the days of Noah because it's the same bloody spirits coming from hell doing it again. It's a simple ex explanation. And what are they doing? Well, they're emulating the technological creation in their own image and their own likeness so that they can go against the gods and God and creation and do it their own way. Plus, the, this is built as a prison. And for them, exactly that. But maybe for us too, that maybe there is no escaping the reincarnation system apart from in a physical body and that and that relates to going outside of the dome firmament with the gods the heavens this portal the very special portal at the center of the earth between the 
between two worlds. As above and so below. That's when the Great War will come. I'm sure. When that gets turned on. So that allows these things to come through. Because obviously there's spells you can cast while doing rituals to cast portals. You know, every time, in fact, every person here is a potential portal for themselves. Because your intention, so, you know, can bring spirits too. And we'll talk about that soon more. The spiritual stuff and children and what we really need to do. EMT people, what they need to do. We need to get like an extensive training course in, in, the, per in the, the normal so that we can use that knowledge, as I said earlier, to fight our common enemy because this is more of a spiritual war than most people can ever imagine. And we have the power to cook to manipulate them rather than they manipulate us with words and thoughts and intention. The same type of rituals they do, we can do, but in a, in a good manner. We don't even need to do the blood sacrifices or anything or put the pentagram out, no. Because we are wirelessly connected, intrinsically connected to everything. Wirelessly thoughts get projected from our heart and mind into the ether, which is all around us. Nothing is secret in this world. And that's part of the paradox, right? People's secrecy are getting to people <laughs> a bit more security, you know, safety for our privacy. And yet, no one's uh, all lives, all, all souls are judged according to the Bible. All souls will be judged, including these bastards that think they're going to get away with it by building these things and things that, that they have done through the guise of science to destroy the earth in the first place and to transhumanize humanity what are we gonna do oh no let's just let people with money who say one thing and do another control humanity that's a great idea I'm sure they've got the best interests, these Russian billionaires, and don't they? <clears throat> Just like Bill Gates and Elon Musk, George Soros. They've got the best interests for humanity. I'm sure they do. I'm sure. Next time.